Welcome back, part two. Just trying to figure out what size stock I want to put in this thing. What two main sizes I want it to hold. And that was just sitting there, so I was sitting around there. Piece of stainless steel, quarter inch. That sounds like a good starting point, right? Tired of burning my fingers on black heat, so I've been cooling things off a lot more often. Today, I grabbed something and it, I only touched it with the very, very part of my finger that I sliced open last week on a, uh, a, a, a tape gun. You know that serrated blade they have out front. Yeah, I was messing with the tape, and my finger slid down and across it. Just I couldn't get it to stop bleeding. This is the first time in a long time that I actually used a band-aid for anything. And of course, what happened today? I lay that right against something at black heat. I guess, I guess in a way, you know, it helped cauterize it. it. Shouldn't pop open. I didn't have a band-aid on it. It's actually healing really nice. I don't know why. That was a bad cut. believe it's that it was such a tiny little burr it was from drilling that rivet and it barely stuck out it was small enough that I didn't notice it when I put the spring clip in it the first time okay so I put that in there and I'm thinking uh, that's not much different than that quarter inch piece something a little bigger and I don't know if I in editing cut that out but the piece is just a little bit thicker than that
Well, that was the first spring clip I made there. For it. I didn't... That one wasn't... Uh, I didn't buy it. And I... Should have annealed it. It's just a piece of music wire. Should have annealed it, bent it to shape, and then hardened and tempered it. Give it a spring steel temper. But I didn't. Basically because I knew I could get a better one. Just not right then. videos were just for YouTube, a lot of this would be cut out. You don't need a second pair of pliers now. You use the proper spring clip and everything works fine. Now, what should the shape of the grains be in to make those grains stay pretty close to the same shape? same distance apart at the end where my hand is regardless of what's in there that's kind of the key to these if you've ever used a big pair of channel pliers where the jaw you have the jaw set open to like four inches uh, it's really hard to squeeze that in my fingers aren't long enough I can use both hands to, to squeeze it There's two ways to solve that. One way is, well, I, I like my reins to be in line, not side by side. But if you made them side by side, you could, uh, with just minimal shaping, you could just move your hand up the rein and let them cross each other until until you get a nice grip. You could that's. That's perfectly doable, but because they're, they will be here. What the heck did I do that for? Yeah. Unless the bit was hot, or I have a special center punch that has to be shaken to let the ink come out. These will be rain over rain in line. So, you have to shape the reins a little more. They will cross. These particular ones I wanted to 
avoid that completely. I, I don't know if, it, if I did. If I put a piece of sheet metal in there, they, they will cross. But once I can get to the two sizes I set, they come to about the same point each time. You just have to look at the widest you want them to be and then the, the closest you want them to be. And then shape them to be somewhere in the middle of that. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but one other thing I wanted to do these was was to put a um, a concave in each bit to reduce the surface area. So that'll be next. There was actually one other thing I, I did to these, but I did them after the camera went off and just like a second, as a second thought, and uh, I left it for about, I don't know, five minutes, and then took it back off. You know, I was thinking the other thing I could do for that new anvil, uh, it's it's hardy is uh, an inch, or it's uh, it's an inch plus, but nominally an inch. Uh, and this hardy here is three quarter inch. I have a I, I cut a one inch into it into it, but it, I never used it. So anyway, what I was thinking was I could make an adapter. I don't want to lose the functionality of of my hold downs, but they they work fine. The the new perch hole is uh, I don't know <laughs> I don't know what it is. I want to say five eighths, but I think it's a little bigger than five eighths. And on this anvil, the the, the perch hole is a half inch. And then the hole you see right there, an the auxiliary hole there, that's 5 eighths. Because the tools right there in that tool holder, those, those uh, ball punches, they're using uh, 5 eighths round 4140. Brush that gunk away.
jury's out on whether that grip is, or whether the, the hollow works better, but I'm happy with everything else. If only I had a crackling sound. And I'm still loving that coat. Loving that coat. At the end of the night, I usually throw a couple big chunks on the fire and let it coke up. Depending on how much you're going to use the fire the next day. Day, I had a really small fire in there from a couple pieces of coke that I had coked up previously and um, I went out to go get some some stock and, and just some stuff for the shop I was gone about three hours and I came back and I'm thinking yeah I'm gonna have to relight this thing it was I turned on the fan the blower and she started right up three hours later just putting the offset in I could have done better on that one I didn't take it too far but that's okay because if I do have to, if they do have to pass on the ends, pass each other, it'll be a little easier. Now shaping the ends, shaping the reins. Trying to find some inspiration here. What shape do I need? I'm going to say now, thanks for watching.
And that seems to be the shape. That works. I don't know. I can get a spring clip on the end. And it comes to small enough uh, that I'm, I'm not trying to squeeze something really far apart. Of course, the water kind of hides the shape right now, but I don't know why I'm stuck in water. So I get a big thumbs up for that, or I give myself a big thumbs up. It actually worked out, and I like it. <laughs>